We just don't talk about self-love enough. Today, let's dive in to 10 tips that will help you implement self-love in your life today. Step number one, you have to care less about other people's opinion. It's okay to get advice from people. It's okay to get perspective from people. But at the end of the day, another person's opinion of you is not going to make you or break you. And if you get caught up overthinking and obsessing about other people's opinion of you, you will always keep self-love away from you. The second step toward self-love is telling yourself daily affirmations, positive affirmations that help you create a positive inner dialogue about who you are and about what you're experiencing. Number three, understanding that it's okay to be completely aware of something you don't like about yourself without feeling the need to judge yourself or put yourself down because there's one thing you don't like about yourself. Now, number four is something we all forget to do. We forget to take time daily for ourselves. We spend so much time investing into work, into children, into school, into other people, into our lovers, into our friends. We forget to invest in ourselves. Let's make a commitment to give back to ourselves. If we are truly lovers and we care about the people in our lives, we owe it to them as much as we owe it to ourselves to prioritize ourselves, to give back to ourselves. So then when we're giving to them, they're getting more from us. What do you want to do? Do you want to pour from a quarter full cup, a half full cup, or a full cup? Number five and six go together. Telling people no if it's draining you. Telling people no if it's causing you harm. Telling people no if it's hurting you. Telling people no if it's causing you inner conflict. We get in a habit of telling everyone no because of fear, because of rejection, because we don't want to step outside of our boxes, because we're afraid to fail. Say yes to new opportunities. Say yes to new people. Say yes to new ideas. Say yes to new hobbies. Say yes to new opportunities that may come your way. I cannot express enough how important this is. Go through your iTunes, go through your Spotify, and delete all of the sad songs that you listen to when you wanna cry, when you wanna reminisce on some hard time that caused you depression. Delete all of that stuff. Everything is energy. Listen to the songs that make you feel good. Listen to the songs that make you want to party, the songs that make you want to live life, that make you want to travel. Listen to the songs that feel good. Go towards the happy vibes. Stay away from the sad vibes. Dedicate one day to just self-caring. Clean your house, get new sheets, lay out some candles. Maybe you read a book and just you care for your mind. Then maybe you hit the spa and care for your body. Get a massage, get a good stretch, eat great all day. Completely reset your life. Just call it a self-care day. And try to repeat as often as possible those self-care days. Because when you pump into yourself, when you pump that life into yourself, you only make what you have to give better. And that makes your life better. Don't forget to give love to others without expecting it back. A lot of the times we put an asterisk on our love for friends, for our job, or our lover. And we always want it back in some form, which is fine. That, I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? You don't want to just give and give and give and, and then nothing is ever reciprocated to you. You don't, you know, nobody wants that. But there are times in our lives where we do have to completely learn how to remove our ego and just get into a space where we just give and give and give. And not because we need it back, not because we want it back, but because at that moment, at that time, someone needs us. And sometimes we have to give and give and give because they need us to get through. And it's okay, it happens, because then there's times in your life where people give and give to you because you don't have to give to them. So look, nobody wants to be in a situation where they never get anything in return and they're just always giving. They're gonna end up feeling used and feeling played. Just remember, there is a time when you do have to be that person that just gives and that just loves and never expects it back. The last tip 
And one of the most important tips is to celebrate your small victories. We only want to measure when we graduate. It takes us 18 years to graduate and another four or five if you go to college. Why not just celebrate after your freshman year, your sophomore year? Heck, after a quarter, celebrate the small victories. If you got an A on a test in a class you're not good at, even though you only have a C average in the class, that's okay. Learn to celebrate the small victories. Maybe your goal is to lose 20 to 30 pounds, but you've lost four. Celebrate the small victories. You always want to get boom, 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 boom. You want to get that steam rolling like a train, right? You want to get that train rolling and eventually it starts to pick up speed. Always celebrate the small victories. If you want to write a book, you finally, I'm going to challenge you if you want to write a book, you finally opened up the document and started typing. Maybe you put in your outline, you got a couple chapters in or one chapter, you got 30 pages in. Be proud of yourself. That's called celebrating the small victories. In order to win the war, you have to win a lot of battles. So be proud of the battle. Never allow the victories of the battles to get you ahead of the war, but be proud of the battles because without winning most of the battles, you can't win the war. My friends, I appreciate you guys for coming by today. I have three things for you before you go. One, subscribe below to my Instagram, to my Facebook, to my Twitter accounts if you have those. Also, you should already be subscribed here on YouTube. If you're not, subscribe and hit the bell notification so all the videos will come right to your phone every week. The last thing I have for you, if you need more tips on self-love or you want some documents that you can carry with you, order my book, the Dear Queen Journey, A Path to Self-Love. The link will be below. You can order from my website, sylvestermcnutt.net, or you can order from amazon.com. I'll put both below. If you order from my website today, use the code LOVE at checkout. You'll get extra off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Keep loving, keep living, and I'll see you next week.